From the north side of the San Francisco Bay to Singapore, welcome to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio with your host, business owner, lecturer, author, master trainer, Tiaja, with over 30 years of experience in the health and fitness industry. He will challenge the fitness between your ears. So prepare your mind, body, and soul for the revolution of self-care, the evolution of fit, with real talk about real people, real health, real fitness, and the real deal behind our present illness culture. Real talk every time, all the time. Get weekly insights on how to shift your thinking, emoting, eating, training, hydrating, goal setting, and resting for you, the everyday athlete. You can cheat your fitness, but you can't steal your health flow. It's Tuesday, 9 a.m. Let's flow. Welcome to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio, where we challenge the fitness between your ears. I'm your host, Tiaja. Does your body know how old you are? Well, that's an interesting question for sure. But can what you believe change the way your body thinks or performs? About a week ago, I was listening to a sports talk show called Undisputed. Undisputed is moderated by Jenny Tapp and hosted by former NFL Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp, along with renowned sports journalist Skip Bayless. In this particular episode, they opened the show with a heated debate about Tom Brady, the future Hall of Fame quarterback from the New England Patriots. His trainer made some outrageous statements about Tom Brady's ability to play until he's 50 years of age because his brain believes he is much younger than his actual chronological age, which is 41. Now, of course, this set off a media maelstrom because in modern sports parlance, an athlete is supposedly old by age 30. Now, regardless, here's my question for you. Do you believe the brain can actually change the way the body performs and functions at any age? Think about that for a second. And while you're thinking about that for the next several minutes, I want you to lean in and take a listen into what Skip and Shannon had to say. Now, I'll be back with my two cents shortly thereafter. Today will be just another day unless you decide today that it won't be. It is Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. Let's flow. We all know by now that Tom Brady is not young, but at 41 years old, he still managed to win a record sixth Super Bowl title. Brady's contract is up at the end of next season, but he has said in the past that he wants to play into his mid-40s. Well, now his trainer, Alex Guerrero, actually said Brady can play until he is 50. What? He went on to say this, I'm a big believer that everything is learned behavior. You tell an athlete, you're going to be done when you're 30. Well, the brain begins to believe that, and all your neuro programming is based on, okay, I'm 30, I'm old. But I don't think the brain understands the concept of time. It doesn't understand age, right? How would your brain know you're whatever age you are? I always tell Tom, we're not going to tell our body what we want to do. We're going to tell our body what we want it to do. Shannon? <laughs> Shannon, uh, could you see Brady uh, play until he's 50? Mm. I want him to go away. Who? Alex or Brady? This guy. I think you want Brady no, to go No, no, Brady's fine. I yeah. want this guy. Because yeah. he's it? talking crazy. Yeah. This is ridiculous. No, he's not playing to 50. Yeah. I mean, did you see the Super Bowl last year? Did that strike you as a guy that was going to play until he's 50? The guy who should have been MVP. No, he should not have, Skips. Yeah. Don't do that. Oh, one pass. Did you see that throw? That was the throw of the game. No. It was four straight. No, 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 He's not playing. He's not playing. Everybody forgets that there are parts of the season in which it looked like he was done then. Look, I get it. But this 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 notion, I get it. The brain might not know how old you are, but there are other parts of your body do. Mm. So guess what? When you can't walk anymore and it hurts to get up out of bed, yeah, that's when you know. That's not your brain. Mm. That's when you try to get up out of bed like, ooh, my ankles, ooh, mm. my knees, ooh, mm. my back, my mm. shoulders. You think that's Tom Brady right now? Skip, I ain't talking about Brady. Mm. Hell, ain't nobody feeling that way right now. Mm. <laughs> I feel great right now. Mm. Catch me after this 4 o'clock workout this afternoon. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, dang, what happened to me? I, mm. I feel like I played a football game. Mm. <laughs> my thing, just what I want to know. If this guy is such the guru, why is Tom Brady his only big cheek? Because Bob Byron, the, the guy that trained Michael Phelps to swim, Michael Phelps wasn't his only client. I thought about that. Because he's so great. They're like, hold on, what is Michael doing? And everybody flocked there. Have you ever heard of Rob Gronkowski? Yeah, yeah. You, did you see him? Mm. <laughs> did you see how he looked? Mm. Because he tried to train Rob Gronkowski like a quarterback. Well, you said he didn't have any other clients, so there's another one. Hold on, Skip. Yeah. Look, 
my thing is, is that you can't train a tight end like you train a quarterback. You can't train a, a, a offensive lineman like you train a kicker. Yeah. So I still, okay, you only named me two. Bob Bowman had way more than two. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, but remember, Tom Brady has become his full-time job. They spend all day, every day together. So, it, it, it's reported in this story that he, he even sits through meetings with Tom Brady, massaging his injured finger. Like, come on. I mean, this, hashtag this is... Hashtag gross. Okay. Hashtag never. Hashtag okay. I want him to go away again. Hashtag greatest player But ever. anyway, Skip, think about this. <laughs> let, let this sink in for a second. If I'm a cardiologist, and I'm the one of the foremost cardiologists in the world, I have citations from seven different medical boards. Mm. So what am I supposed to do? You know what? I put this heart in this well-known person. That's the only guy. I'm just going to make sure he's okay. Mm. No, you don't do that, Skip. You don't provide that. Look at, all, look at all the great athletes, and you look at their trainers. You look at Usain Bolt, trainer, Mills. Yeah. Usain Bolt wasn't the only guy that he trained. You look at all these guys, but the only guy, the only guy. Is was the, the guy. Is the guy. That's it. I'm Period. End of not. story. He's not playing till he's 50. He's playing one more year, and it's over. Kaput. Finito. Done. How many cases do we have bet on this one? We already got two or three. Do we? Yes, Want to make it do. ten? Couple cases? Yeah, we got two or three. Want to make it five? I don't want to start 2020 off like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to start off in the hole. Oh, oh, oh me? Yeah, oh, I don't want you to start off oh, in the hole. Oh, okay. You know, mm. cases do cause them enemies. Okay. <laughs> Well, then we, we'd be mortal in this, right? Yeah. Look, a number of this man's rivals, a number of media experts have accused him of various forms of quackery. Yes. Guerrero. Snake oil. You, you can argue all the above all day long until you're blue, as blue as you are in the face, right? <laughs> I don't know if you could get that blue in the face, but maybe. If you play till he's 50, watch. Okay, just watch. Watch. <laughs> All I know is that number 12 up in Foxborough believes mind, body, and soul in Alex Guerrero. He and that's does. all that matters he does. in the end. Because if you believe in it or him, it just doesn't matter. Because now we get back to what Alex Guerrero is preaching about this. And this I believe with all my heart and soul. I, I had a guy who did my first knee surgery. and He became a very close friend of mine. And he used to preach to me. Anything the body, I'm sorry, anything the mind can conceive, the body can achieve. Mm -hmm. So if like you can that. conceive it in your mind and, and you have to believe it to conceive it, then your body will follow suit. Mm. You, you can heal your body with your mind, but you have to believe that what you're doing to heal it works. Skip, okay? you always believe that. So every, so every athlete that has not become successful, he didn't believe that he was going to be successful. Okay, That's but, the notion what he just said. But the biggest notion is you got conditioned in your career to believe that when you hit 30, you're starting to diminish. You're starting to go on. No, the team the did side. that. When okay. they started cutting players, they okay. got to 30. Right. That was Bill okay. Walsh and whomever else came up with that idea. Right. But, but it got stuck in your brain. It got, it got pounded into your brain. Boy, when you hit the big 3-0, you're going to start mm -hmm. to go on the downside. Mm -hmm. I've told you about Brady from the start. He continues to shatter the mold because he doesn't act or think the way you were conditioned to think that a franchise quarterback should act or think. He thinks completely differently. He believes in this pliability and all the things that go along. You can say it's hocus pocus, but he believes it and his body is achieving it because his mind is 1000 percent in tune with everything Alex Guerrero preaches mm -hmm. to him. So if that's the case, then. If, if he, ch here's the point. If Tom Brady chose to play until he's 50, if he really want, he'd have to want to. And that's the biggest question here because you always say you hit the wall of wanting to. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's. No, I wanted to play. I didn't want to go to meetings. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. But, but that's all <laughs> that's part of this. Yeah. That's all part of this. Yes. It's hard, man. It is. And, and at some point, if he doesn't want to go to training camp again, if he doesn't want to break in five new kid receivers again, mm -hmm. at some point, it'll just wear him out mentally and he says, my kids are in high school now and my son's playing football or what, whatever it is, you, he might just say, I, I just don't want to spend the time on this anymore. The most impressive thing for me about him and being in 20 years, Skip, he's heard the same verbiage for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Very few quarterbacks have heard. They have a different head coach. They get different offensive coordinators and the verbiage change. He's heard the exact verbiage for 20 years with the exception of a play here or there. 
Okay. I, I get it. New guys come in and you develop new relationships and that keeps you going also. But to hear the same thing over and over, it's almost mm -hmm. like, oh, I guess people say that's in principle what I do because I've just been eating yep. the same thing since 1997 for breakfast. Egg whites and oatmeal, mm -hmm. little fruit here and there. Okay. So I guess, you know what, Jenny? Hmm. Brain, I'm living to 100. The oldest person with a French, 130. I'm living to 141. You got to okay. believe it. That's what I'm telling myself. I like it. Well, do you believe it? Because I don't I'm, think you believe it. I 1,000%. I'm really calling BS on You know it. what? I'm a little older than Methuselah. Really? Methuselah was in the 980s. Mm. I'm a little be 1,000. Okay, but see, you don't believe I it. I believe if it. you believed it, I'd give you a I shot. I believe it. You don't believe I it. I do. Tom Brady believes in this guy. And the quote from Guerrero is, he's my best friend. I believe that. They, sure. they spend extraordinary amounts of even off-season time together. I don't and, want to be and, around nobody that long. Okay, well, that's fine. That's you. We know but, that. But you, you, you keep trying to impose your beliefs on Tom Brady, and it won't work. Because everything you were taught, everything you taught your body to believe, he's unteaching. He, he's not like you. He doesn't think the way you thought. And he didn't play your position, so he didn't. He wasn't exposed yes. to the hits. And, they, and now they even take it to Okay, the they are. Not, okay. And that changes. You he, feel comfortable with that skill? He still gets hit but not the way you got hit. Okay. You got to okay. believe it, though. I think I like that. Jenny, you got to think it to believe it. Tom thinks he could play forever at this what point. What do you want to be, Jenny? What do you see yourself? You want to be president, secretary? I mean, I what do you... I really like to be a great host on Undisputed, and I believe it. You got to believe I mean, you it. Are, Jenny, you are already that. Now, here are my two cents, and feel free to keep the change. I thought it was interesting that Shannon, the former athlete, would mock another athlete for his mental approach to the game and even go as far as to denigrate his trainer. Now, it's been demonstrated time and time again that athletes have the ability to super focus during competition, a phenomenon that is referred to as being in the zone, but is it possible to be in the zone outside of an athletic event? Now, I've stated repeatedly that aging is a natural process, but growing old is a choice. And it's not just some positive affirmation or daily mantra for me. It's a way of life. I am still able to lift just as much weight as I did in my 20s. I can jog just as long. I'm more flexible now than I was then. But what's even more important to me is everything I just outlined about myself is functional in and outside the gym. And do I believe I'm in my 20s? Not at all. But do I believe I'm getting older? No, I don't. In my 30 plus years of training, I've learned that people will always try to ascribe to you the very limitations they ascribe to themselves. So maybe Tom Brady won't play in the NFL when he's 45 or 50, but who really knows other than Tom Brady and his trainer. The reality is, as you age, you don't recover nearly as quickly as you did when you were younger. So sustaining an injury at age 25 is different than sustaining one at age 45 relative to the recovery. Still, depending on your biohistory, nutrition, and rest habits, etc., it is possible for you to recover a lot faster than conventional medical wisdom says you should be able to. And let's be honest, a lot of recovering from an injury or illness has to do with your mental outlook. How quickly do you want to get back into the game? Whether whether on the field or in life in general. If we have the ability to talk ourselves out of a lot of opportunities in life, then surely we must equally have the capability of talking ourselves into many of those same missed opportunities if we so choose. Your brain doesn't know your age, and despite what you might think, it is an advantage, not a disadvantage, to know this. Dear friends, I wish above all things that you prosper just as your soul prospers. You've been listening to Urban X World Talk Fitness Radio with your host, Tiaja. Until next week, as always, walk in health and peace.